Hi guys, welcome to art class. Uh, today we're going to be using watercolors and oil pastels. And we're going to do something like this, where it looks like you're in the ocean floor looking up and seeing this turtle above you. Okay? And I wanted to show you um, before we started a few different ways you could do this so you could decide which way you want to try. Um, we thought first it might be cool to do the oil pastel and then do watercolor over it, which is kind of a resist painting, meaning that the oil pastels resist the water. So um, we tried that and it came out pretty well. And then we tried to do black watercolor on top of the color. And as you can see, it looks okay, like especially the fish look okay, but sometimes it looks really too faint for what we're going for. Um, so you can kind of try a couple different things, even if you had like acrylic paint or something that might work even better. But today I think the route we're going to go is we'll first draw the picture with the oil pastels with the turtle in the ocean and um, practice doing some plants on the side. And then we'll go over it with blue and green watercolor kind of in a circular motion. Okay, so that's the goal for today. So get your watercolors, your cup of water, your paper towels, your paintbrush, your oil pastels, um, and make sure you have a black one because that's the main one we're going to use today. But actually if you don't, if you don't have black, you could use a different color, just a dark color. So you can pause it if you need a minute to get your stuff, but um, what I'm going to do is start with a black oil pastel and then a about the middle of my paper, but maybe a little off center, I'm going to draw the turtle. And I'm going to start with just like a circle and fill it in. Kind of more like an oval actually. And this is just the body. So we're going to start with that. And fill it in as best you can because whatever you don't fill in is going to be filled in with watercolor in a little bit. And if you're using oil pastels, your fingers are probably going to need a little bit gross so you might have to use some um, good soap later to to get that off. So the next thing I'm going to do is the head. So that's just kind of a circle at the top. And then it's a sea turtle so it's got these arms that are more like fins coming off the side. Actually kind of looks like a shark fin but it's on the side so it's an arm. And try really hard not to smear your, your black fingers all over the paper. <laughs> My daughter Brady's joining me today. So we'll show you her picture too when she's done. My turtle is giant. Your turtle is giant, but that's okay. You've got a bigger paper than me. So the reason we're going to do videos today instead of in person is because I heard you guys are having a basketball tournament and my son's actually going to be in it. So I'll be out there in Des Moines today with you, um, or yeah, playing basketball or not playing, but watching and cheering and, and I can say hi to you guys while I'm out there. All right. So we have a turtle. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just kind of a vague idea. And then... <laughs> Bless you. We are going to start working on doing some different um, types of like algae and seaweed and flowers and plants on the side. Maybe even like a little bit of a coral reef if you like. Um, but kind of do them just on the side of your paper because we're going to paint it as though you're underneath looking up and um, you see the turtle above you and the grasses and things around you. So I'm going to start on the bottom and just do well, a couple squiggly lines. Maybe some of them will like overlap each other a little bit. Squiggly, squiggly. Almost like an underwater tree or something like that. And you guys can do whatever kind of organic shapes you want, um, making it look kind of realistic. Like, but I'm just going to give you some ideas, and you guys can choose which ones you want to do. 
So on this one, I'm going to put some little branches on both sides. And last time I tried to just do a V all the way down, it didn't turn out as well. So this time I'm going to try just doing one side at a time. If you guys have any other ideas for types of seaweed or algaes or things like that, I would love to see them. My black is getting so small that I'm almost, you can't even barely tell because my fingers are so dark where it is. Let's see here. Oh, I'm surfing. <laughs> Pretty bad, yeah. <laughs> it's best if you can keep the uh, wrapper on, but you know, through many uses, I've had to take the wrapper off. Ideally, when you're done, you want to make it look like you could turn this picture any direction, and it would still look like you're kind of looking up at the sky. So I'm gonna turn my paper. Pretend now I'm looking up from this direction. Um, some other examples of just like more like solid looking straightish pieces. And this kind of looks like the one that I saw in my example painting online is this one kind of looks like a Christmas tree and I don't, I don't really think of that type of shape when I think about oceans but there's some little ones that look like almost like flowers or something like that we could try that they look like palm trees they look like little baby palm trees see how detailed I can get with my one dark short piece and this looks like they're doing I think they're like kind of like dandelions of the sea or something like that. If you want um, some realistic inspiration, I'm sure you could just Google um, like sea plants or something and and find something. You know how coral reefs are kind of like solid um, looking. I might do one of those and like have like a little anemone coming off of it like in Finding Nemo and just do like some little something like that maybe maybe some more of these Okay. With the bees. I was just like, you know, dreaming of summer and thinking about oceans and turtles, and that's why I was thinking it would be fun to do something like this with you guys. I love summer, but I also miss my students during the summer. And I feel like if they cram so much stuff in the end of the year, it's like, go, 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 go. And then all of a sudden it's the last day of school and you're like, wait, but wait, <laughs> what happened? Where'd the school year go? All right. So... I'm going to kind of go back over some of my dark lines that aren't very dark, or my light lines that aren't very dark, and um, make them a little bit darker. And then I'm going to bust out the watercolors. So many plants. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, does your turtle have like a flower in its in its ear? Cool. Something. Something. On its head. Yes. Yeah. Can yeah. I show them yours, Brady? Oh yeah. So here's my my dot ties. She's got a bigger paper than I do. So she has more room for for fun stuff. But I think it's looking awesome. Yep. There you go. Alright. Um, so I think I might actually go wash my hands real quick. Um and be right back, but I'm gonna leave this up for just a second so you could look at it and keep working. Let me get some soap and wash my hands so I don't smear it all over. Yeah, I think I might want to wash my hands too. Alright, that is a better start. Whoops, you know what I forgot? I forgot to do the little fish in a circle. So the fish kind of swim in a circle. So I'm going to add a couple little tiny, tiny fish. I'm going to have to wash my hands again. Just a little circle with the, with the two fins in the back. Because maybe this turtle just found himself or herself a little school of tiny fish swimming in a circle and thinks it's dinner time. Starting to not look so much like a fish because my thing is so small. And then when we're painting, we can kind of paint in a circular motion so it shows the movement, shows that the fish are kind of going in this whirlpool. All right, I'm gonna... Um, Go rinse my hands again one more time. Give me one second. Alright. So, as many or as few little fish that you want is fine. Alright. I think I'm happy with mine. So what I'm going to do is start picking out some blues and greens um, that I'm going to swirl in a circle around the area and trying not to smear it. I know it's okay. It does. It smears. It's it's I'm not, not the end trying. of the world. <laughs> well, I'm not also trying not to. So remember, the, the more you swirl your paintbrush in the watercolor paint um, patty thing here, you're going to get more pigment picked up on the brush. So, And then the more water you add, the less, the less bright your colors will be. I'm sticking to like green and blue. Oh, it almost looks yellow on the screen. But. It does look yellow. But it's kind of more green. And that looks really light. Let's see if we can get you to see it a little bit. It's more, it's more like a lime green color. I'm going to go in with some darker green then and see what it looks like. Ooh, that's really dark green. So you notice how when I go over the oil pastels, it repels it. So it kind of looks cool that way. But if you happen to have like acrylic paint or something like that, then I would do the background first and then go over it um, with your black acrylic paint. But watercolor is a little bit different, so that's why we did it in reverse.
any kinds of blues or or greens that you have would be good. You could probably even pull off doing like some purple if you wanted. Because I have a small brush. I'm guessing most of you guys have the small standard paintbrush that came with it, so I'm trying to use a small brush myself. Ooh, that green looks really green. At least it shows up a little bit better than my light green. And if your color's not bright enough, you can always go back over it. I'm having a hard time picking up enough color on my little brush, so I'm probably going to go over my super light colors again. I just love how that repels. It's kind of cool and also creepy at the same time. <laughs> Oil and water just don't like each other, so they like to separate. No, I don't want to. Yep. Have you guys ever done a density column in science class before? No? Oh, wait. It's like when you pour a couple different types of liquids into one column and see which ones separate and are heavier and lighter. So if you put like oil and milk and water no, they all into do one. That, but I know, I know. Because they always talk about density. Mm -hmm. I remember one year um, when I was in Des Moines and I was teaching, um, I think it was a careers class and we were doing commercials and you had to make your own you had to invent your own soft drink your own drink if you could invent any kind of new drink product what would you invent and then you had to actually try and make it and then pretend you were going to to market it and put it on commercials and i think it was uh mckenna and annalisa <laughs> who came up with like a rainbow one. And so they made their drink out of a density column and they made it rainbow colored. So it looked really cool. It was like, I mean, in real life it wouldn't taste very good because they had like oil and milk and soap and different things in there, but it sure looked cool. It was really neat how it separated out. But I used to have those videos saved somewhere. I wish I could find them. <laughs> Okay, looking pretty good. Oops, I'm gonna get that water off of there. All right, so there you have it, and you can make your colors darker if you want. I'll probably make my blues a little bit darker just so they pop. And maybe that green I started out with that kind of turned into a yellow. If you have your like a notebook with thicker paper for art, I would use that kind of paper for this because um, regular like I use scrapbook paper or commu computer paper and it just gets all wrinkly because the water is too much. awesome baby. Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of the Little Mermaid soundtrack. <laughs> that looks really good. Yay. Yay. 
show you how Brady's is turning out so far. She's definitely got the circle down. Hers looks much more like they're dancing in a circle, and you could picture a scene from Little Mermaid. <laughs> I like it a lot. I like it a lot, too. So, since she's still working, and I would love for you to see her finished product, too. But I'm going to keep messing around with this one and try some other techniques, just in case you decided to do watercolor on watercolor like Brady. I mean... Not, uh, not Brady, like Brady, like this right here. Brady didn't do watercolor on watercolor. It's, I'm excited to come see this, uh, basketball tournament that you guys are playing in this weekend because I get to see you guys, even though my son is playing for your opposing team, um, it's still cool to see you guys and see my Maxwell students, my Des Moines kids that are all grown up now from a long time ago, and then you guys who are still in elementary school art with me, because I don't get to see you very much in person, face to face, so... I'll be around tomorrow if you happen to be by the gym for that basketball tournament. Some of you guys are probably playing in it, I'm guessing. And if you hear anybody say Jones, that's my, probably my son. <laughs> Oops. I keep dipping my paintbrush in the water, but I don't go down far enough, so it comes out, like, not wet at all. <laughs> I keep on accidentally getting too much water on it, so basically the opposite. <laughs> Look, you see this puddle? puddle? Yes. That's okay, though. You can kind of drag it around. Mm -hmm. I'll have to dry for just a second, and then... This one I kind of started out just, I was just like messing around trying to figure out which materials I wanted to use, but the turtle's like down here and not in the middle, so it almost looks like not quite right if I turn it this way. So I wonder if I put like another turtle over here if it would make it look better. You know what I mean? Yeah, because then the turtles will be like coming united. towards each other. The turtles will be uniting. United Turtles. I don't have time to that. I didn't even know you were singing a real song. I thought you were just making it up. The one that goes, Am I supposed to Oh, the, mar the, the wedding march? Song? Yeah. So the turtles are getting married. Just kidding. <laughs> I give one a flower because I did mine. And then there'll be two. You should actually give one a ring. Um, like they don't have any fingers. So <laughs> might have like some kind of a tag on it, like a bio biology group tag that's studying them. Or maybe they're just hunting partners and they're coming across this school of fish and they're like, okay, you come on that side and I'll come on this side and they won't suspect a thing. have too much water. I hope it doesn't spread all over it. This is kind of cool. This one's a little different. It's like they're just going through the area. They're not in a circle. They're just passing through. Just passing through. Maybe he's a little baby fish. Doot, doot, doot. Was that Gwen? I thought I heard the dog whining. Oh, she's outside the window. 
to the end by now. Yeah, me too. You want me to go let her in? Yes, please. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to try and do... I guess that doesn't look too bad. I actually kind of like how the, the see-through-ish watercolor ones look. When it dries, we'll see. I change my mind. So if you don't feel like getting your hands all dirty, you could probably just as easily use black watercolor for this to do the things on top of it, and then if they fade into the distance, you could just go over them one more time with black again to make it darker. It's not, not too bad. So I'm kind of doing them in groups of threes or fives, if you've noticed that. Um, and that's because just in nature, things happen more often in odd numbers. So if you see something in like in a pair, it doesn't look as right. So that's why I'm doing things in odd numbers because artistically they they look more interesting. But you don't have to go by that. That's just like a rule of art, but you can break it because it's your artwork and you're the artist, you know? But you have two turtles. I do have two turtles and that is a pair. Sorry, you're right, but so she is breaking the rules. I am breaking the rules. Ha ha, I'm a rule breaker. So it is up to you. Is essentially what I was trying to say about that. Like whatever you think looks right. Like if it's missing something and you think it looks unbalanced, you could always add something else to spice up the area. So. Yeah, see now I don't know which direction I would I would hang this artwork. If I wanted to, I might have a hard time. Like which end is up? I don't know. So we did a pretty good job going from the center looking up even though it wasn't in this circular pattern. So that's kind of cool. You know what else I'm going to add? I'm going to add a little starfish. Just for fun. I don't know where. Here. A little sea star. What's this uh, starfish's name in Spongebob? Patrick. Patrick. Patrick Star. That makes so much sense. Hello. I can't. Patrick Star over here. I'm not going to draw Spongebob though. Because natural sea sponges are not in a square sponge shape like you would find in your kitchen. But Spongebob sure is square and has square pants to match. Couple starfish. They can be friends. And I'm going to do an odd number of them. I'm going to follow the rules over here. But art rules are meant to be broken. That's how famous uh, artists become famous. Right? Right. So right. I'm going to go back in because I don't like that this um, turtle is see-through. Unless you have x-ray vision. The silhouette of a turtle above you in the ocean wouldn't be see-through, right? There we go. All right, so you've seen a couple different ways to do it. Here's Brady's. Looks lovely. I like how hers is nice and bright. She's some, some darker colors than me, so that it looks really nice and bright. And hers is in a circle, and the fish are going around the turtle, which is kind of cool. Here's one where they're going in a different path and you have multiple turtles. And then here's another one. 
feels so much brighter in real life. In real life, yeah, it does. I think, I think, I wonder if it's because this thing has a light on it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's darker when you take the light off of it. Woo! Do, 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 Anyway, that's it for today. Um, short and sweet, but you can spend as much time on it as you feel you need to. And I hope to see you in Des Moines for the basketball tournament. And... Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!